All right, coming up next, it's a UFC lightweight division bout. Well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. Ice Man! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon! Lee! All right, get into the rules of the locker room. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. Underway, and we've got a striker who is the first to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit better. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high level striker is, and this guy is as high level. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. Oh! Big knee there to the chest. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, nice combination of strikes there. In terms of the accuracy, I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting pads. It's like he's hitting focus spits. 
but instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. Well, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. So a combination of kicks from him, and most of those found the target, DC. The kickboxing is on point tonight. He's so sharp, and he feels so good that he's throwing multiple kicks in a row. Effective punch there by Lee. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Yeah, he oh. it all up. He's got him right here. Wow! Clinch work. Now he's got the Muay Thai block. Oh, yes, now we're going. Oh, straight right. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Again, back into this position. So nicely done, All right? So a near perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, was able to get him down there. Persistence pays, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to mix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top control? All right, well, he's got him softened up here. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Back to the feet now. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Lee. 15 seconds remain in the round. In the books. No, 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 no. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Punch coming, it's blocked. Just out of range with that right hook. Big, powerful punch lands. Now we get back in range. Oh, just a nice little shot, Lance. Back to the feet. Oh! Campbell inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice one, two there. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. All right, he engages in the same. Oh, there's a trick to get the takedown. to the stand-up now, both fighters upright. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, big left hand there. Well, it's not due to a lack of effort. He continues to throw, but this is like double-A striking. This is not high level. Yeah, you can't be missing. It takes so much energy to just throw a strike, but to be whiffing like this, it only exhausts you, because every moment he's trying to throw to knock his opponent out, so you're just catching air. It, it doesn't feel good. It's also embarrassing. <laughs> so a much different approach from him here in round. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look oh! for Kimura here. He's hurt. Serve it. Oh, big oh, knee! Strike on the ground. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, 
But now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. What a tricky head kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh! Oh! Back to the feet! Superman punch lands! And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Lee. Takedown defense holds up. Right, so there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC. And he had his takedown game going early and off. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entries, rushing to his finishes before his opponent could react and defend him. He should be very proud of the work he did over the course of that last round. You ready? You ready? Third Go. round underway. Such a fast leg kick. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliana has called a stop to this contest at 19 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon.